Understanding how alcohol and histamine affect your body can help you manage your histamine intolerance and avoid reactions. Alcohol increases histamine levels in three ways. Alcoholic drinks, such as wine, can contain a lot of histamine. Alcohol is broken down into acetaldehyde, which can trigger histamine release. Finally, alcohol inhibits the enzyme that breaks down histamine. Histamine intolerance occurs when the body is unable to break down histamine from food and drink, leading to a range of symptoms, including headaches, itching, hives, sinus drainage, digestive issues, rapid heartbeat, anxiety, flushing, and anaphylaxis. There are two enzymes that metabolize histamine. The DAO enzyme breaks down histamine in the intestines, and the HNMT enzyme clears histamine from various tissues. Genetics influence DAO and HMNT enzyme production. Enzyme deficiency can lead to excess histamine and increase intolerance symptoms. Alcoholic beverages and fermented foods contain high levels of histamine. Wine is high in histamine and other biogenic amines due to the use of specific bacteria strains. Bacteria, specifically lactic acid-producing bacteria, produce histamine and other biogenic amines. The DAO enzyme, which breaks down histamine, is inhibited by alcohol. Alcohol and acetaldehyde can trigger histamine release, which increases histamine in different tissues of the body. First, alcohol is broken down into acetaldehyde, which is toxic. Then acetaldehyde is metabolized into acetic acid, which is non-toxic. Slow conversion of acetaldehyde to acetic acid causes buildup of toxic acetaldehyde and releases histamine. Hangover symptoms such as headache and dizziness can be caused by high histamine levels. Treating high histamine levels can decrease levels of specific migraine-related neurotransmitters. Eliminating high histamine foods from the diet can help reduce histamine levels in the body and manage histamine intolerance symptoms. Try going low histamine for a day or two before drinking alcohol to ensure enough necessary enzymes are available to break down the histamine in the drink. DAO supplements provide the enzyme for breaking down histamine if your body is not producing enough. Quercetin has also been shown in studies to inhibit mast cells from degranulating. Mast cells are one way the body releases histamine. MitoQ, a mitochondrial ubiquinone supplement, has been shown in studies to enhance acetaldehyde clearance. Zinc and vitamin B3 are both cofactors for acetaldehyde dehydrogenase. N-acetylcysteine is a precursor to glutathione, which helps convert acetaldehyde. Visit geneticlifehacks.com to see which solution works best for your genes.